Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. As you can see by today's title, we're gonna be dropping the Nismo. Finally, get rid of this huge gap we got. <clears throat> the gap doesn't look so big here just because it has such a tall tire. It has a 45 and then in the front, huge gap. But that's also because it has a 35 tire. So the plan for the front is 255.40 at least. <clears throat> it's a little, a little bit taller and it'll just look better than the 35 profile. 35 I really don't like. So yeah, um, the coilovers we went with were True Heart. A little like budget coilovers, but still good. I had True Heart before on my, I don't know if you guys remember my other gray Nismo. I had another gray Nismo. I put True Heart on those. They ride good. The only thing that they don't have is adjustable uh, dampening. So that's the only thing with them. But True Heart still rides good. And they do definitely go low enough for what I want. So right now I'm going to my boy's crib all the way in Homestead. And we're gonna be installing these just we're gonna have like a little pool day drink some drink some drinks you know have a good time and install these coilovers all right guys so we're at my boy's here right now i already got um started on this thing he's getting started on the other side we're doing the rear first since it's the easier uh side i mean the front is easy too but you gotta take off a little bit more things so yeah we got shade we got the coilovers right here like I said, I went with True Heart. Good coil order for the price, and they're adjustable, so. Yep. All right, guys, so I got my side done. I still have to drop it to see how much I have to um, adjust it. Looks good, everything bolts it right up. Uh, like I said, the rear is pretty easy. All you have to take off is a 17 mo uh, bolt right here with the nut for the spring. Remove your spring, don't leave your spring in there because if you leave your spring in there, the car is not gonna get any lower so remove that remove this 7, 17 mil bolt right here and then you got two 12 mils in the top and that's about it uh pretty easy goes my boy right here he's putting the coil over on right now on this side what i messed up in was not bringing my jack stands because you do have to um, lift the spring bucket up so that the coilover lines up again. But whatever, we're making it work. Not a big deal. So yeah, guys. All right, guys. So this is about like, what, four or five hours later? <laughs> yeah. We hit the pool, drinking some Trulies. Um, we got the rear done. I can't really show you guys right now, but the rear is sitting pretty low. It's not sitting that low. The car's jacked up right now, so, but it's not sitting that low. But we're doing the fronts right now. The fronts do take a little bit longer, just cause you gotta take off the sway bar uh, end links. That's about it. So here we have the coilovers, the stock and the true hearts. The stock ones measured out to what? I said what, 25 and a half, I said? 25 and a half from the top to bottom. And the stock, uh, I mean, the true hearts right now are about 24. So it's an inch and a half difference. We're gonna see how that sits. If it's too low, I'll just raise it. Not a big deal. But um, yeah, it's pretty easy, guys. I took that off, what, 20 minutes? 29, 50 minutes. 50 minutes. <laughs> so yeah, you got power tools and some basic, you know, mechanic knowledge. You could do this job. So yeah, boys, I'm gonna slap this on right now. All right, guys, so there you have it. She's lowered. Sorry for the lack of recording. I was trying to get this done before the sun went down. As you can see, it's getting pretty uh, dark quickly here. So she is lowered. Um, I got it pretty even, even all the way around. Um, except for the front. Maybe like the front, I was off by like, uh, like a one eighth on the passenger side, which is not a huge difference. 
either way i don't want to drop it that low in the front because i do want to change the tire setup to a 255 40. it's currently on a 265 35. so once i put that 40 profile it's going to be raised uh just a little bit so i want to wait until i get those tires to see where the height is going to be and if i'm going to be having any rubbing issues or whatever so yeah guys my boy helped me out today while we drank some beers chilling but yeah she was great finally got rid of the gap the rear to me looks perfect for now um the next thing will be to get some camber arms toe arms and whatnot but yeah guys she's looking good sheesh Fitment on point. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much for it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, next things are um uh camber arms and torms. So I gotta get rid of the the bucket. Um, I took it for a test drive. The car rides the same as of now, you know. Um, yeah, guys, um, True Hearts are very good. Uh, quote over for the price. And they're a true rear, which is what I like. I don't like that that bucket setup. I don't really like that because then you can't get rid of the the bucket pretty much. Um, but yeah, guys, tell me what you guys think about the Nismo, how she's looking. I think she looks great. Me and my boy are now about to get some tacos because we hungry. But yeah, guys. Sheesh. Feels good. Tell me what you guys think, how she's looking. I still got some other things cooking up for this car. And she's dusty right now. How's she looking, bruh? I'll see you guys in the next video.